Example, determine whether each of the following relations is a function. Identify the domain and range. So the first thing they're asking us is to figure out if in each of these cases, if we have a function or not. Remember that a function is something that for each input has only one output. When we're given a list of ordered pairs, that means that we need to look and see if our x value is ever repeated, because if it is, then the same x value is potentially going to two different y values, and that makes it not a function. So whenever I look at this first one, I look and see 2, 4, 6, and 9. Those are all different x values, which means each of these inputs is going to exactly one output, so this is a function. Now our domain, which I'm going to use a D to represent, we're going to make a list. Typically in math when we make a list we put fancy brackets, squiggly brackets around it. I'm going to list all the x values because domain has to do with x. So 2, 4, 6, 9, and end with my squiggly brackets. My range is my y values. So that would be 3, 5, and then I have 5 again, so I don't need to list it twice, and 10. And notice it doesn't matter that our y values repeated. All that mattered was our x values were all different. On B, we have 1, 3, 6, and 1. And so we repeated an x value. We have 1, 2, and 1, 10. That means that our input of 1 has two different outputs which means this is not a function. And sometimes the problem will say that we only have to find the domain and range if it is a function, but it's good practice to think about what the domain is here. We would have 1, 3, and 6. Our range is 2, 3, 8, and 10. Now part C is designed to trick us. If we look at the x values, 1, 4, 2, and 1, we notice, hey, we have an x value that repeats. But look at what these points are, 1, 5, 1, 5. So 1 is still only going to one thing. It's still only going to 5. Basically, it's like they just repeated a point. So we really don't even need that second 1, 5 in our list at all. So this still gets to be considered a function even though we had an x value repeat if it has the exact same y value that's okay so our domain is 1 2 and 4 if we want to put it in order from least to greatest and our range is just 5 all of these actually had a range of 5 or a y value of 5 